For retouching color, you can use the Replace Color command. The Replace Color command allows you to change the color of a selected area or element in an image. We talked about the Color Range command earlier in the semester. This is an alternate option to using the Color Range command. The steps for replacing color using this command are as follows. And as always, before you start, you should duplicate the background layer to apply the, the Replace Color non-destructively. Then, make a selection of the area you wish to adjust. This is optional. You can do this without making a selection first, but this does give you more control if you make the selection ahead of time. Then choose Image, Adjustments, Replace Color. Use the eyedropper to narrow down the range of colors the adjustment will be made to. Use the Hue, Saturation, and Lightness sliders to change color. And Last but not least, the best tip for using this command and for doing any retouching is to duplicate the original layer to ensure you utilize the non-destructive editing. So now I will go over to Photoshop and walk through these steps and show you how this works. All right, to start off, I'm going to first duplicate the background layer and I just use the Command J shortcut to do that. And also, ahead of time, I made the selection. Making selections take a lot of time, so I thought I would be able to do this uh, demo video quickly if I had this already pre-selected and saved as a channel. So I can go to the Select menu up here and load this selection and choose the red balloons and hit OK, and then the selection is loaded. So with the selection loaded, on this duplicate layer, um, I'm going to go up here to Image, Adjustments, and then Replace Color. So here I have my sliders, and I have made my selection. So I'm going to go ahead and click my eyedropper on that and hit the fuzziness all the way to the top here, all the way at, at the plus sign. Um, and then with that selection, you can see that's my selection. That's where the color is going to be adjusted. I'm going to go ahead and change the hue. And along with the hue, I can change the saturation and lightness sliders. So what happens if you, let's say, lower the lightness right now? Well, the, oh, the lightness here, um, it will change that luminance of that color. So here you can make it either brighter or darker and this will help you blend the change so it doesn't make it so obvious. I was gonna say from my perspective it just makes it look more natural. Yes. And so, that's always the goal, right? Right, to make it look as natural as possible. So you'd use all of these sliders in combination to make the adjustment. So when you're um, when you're pleased with what you see, go ahead and hit OK and then deselect, and there you go.